And finally, Farm Sim 25 on this channel. And it's not for a lack of effort, to be honest. I completely messed up the first couple saves, but that's okay because we are here today in Zalanka, the European version of the map that Farm Sim and Giants gave us on Tuesday. And I'm waiting for other maps to come out. However, this this round of maps, uh, I, I don't think that was included in the Farm Sim 25 pack. I didn't think it was that bad. I really didn't. Um, I like the American map. I honestly have not looked at the other map, but uh, I have uh, played both of the European and the American one for right now. I'm not feeling very adventurous with the rice yet, but I will get into it. Now today, this is going to be the first episode, obviously, of this. This is just a casual let's play, okay? I know that there are some, uh, there's a word around the campfire that there will be a patch because when that patch comes out it will fix a bunch of bugs and when that all those bugs get fixed and the patch comes out i think it's going to require a new save game and if that's the case i don't really want to get into anything too extensive yet uh that will be probably december i'm guessing uh from the people that i'm talking to but i i'm not sure that's why i'm not going to credit these people because they weren't sure but uh, that is at least rumor around my circles is that you know this might require a new save game so i don't want to get into it too much now in the background we are getting a mower we are going to mow up a bunch of grass so that we can get started on the land that we have chosen so we are going to get there and we are going to get started all right now over here on the field and we've bought this huge field on the right and we've also got all of this grass on the left and that's where we're going to put our farm obviously over here on the left if you're wondering what the crop is over there on the right, it is sugar beet, which I didn't plant. Okay, the game has it, and that's probably, honestly, my least favorite crop to do. But we will do it anyway, uh, because it's already planted, and why not? We don't have a ton of money to speak of right now, and in farm speak anyway. It's $48,000. is always going to be a lot of money. But when we're talking about tractors and equipment, it's really not going to go that far. So... I'm hoping that we have enough money in between mowing all this, selling silage, that kind of stuff, and doing contract work, which I want to include in almost every episode here. I would like to do a lot of contract work because, yeah, I noticed that it doesn't pay anything. And that's fine because we don't have anything. So we need to get at least a little something in. And in order to do that, I think contract work is going to be good. I'll even take the long ones that are like, twenty thousand dollars for a ton of uh, a ton of uh fields to be harvested or what i don't care what the job is i will take it because we only have forty eight thousand dollars and if we're trying to build a farm from scratch that's not gonna quite cut it but yes we're gonna keep cutting the grass over here as you can see it's a lot of field over here so i will pick it up when we get closer to complete it all right, now getting closer, we're not completely done, but we are going to mow up all this. And then on the other side of that creek, we also own that. So we will be mowing. And if you see that it says that I don't own this land, I do own this land, but only up until a certain point, which you see right up here. I just keep going until it tells me that I don't own it anymore. That's way cheaper than a survey. and. Ah, there we go. See, right there. So that's kind of the border. I don't know why they didn't give me the rest of it towards the road, but they didn't. So we have this weird um, boundary right in the middle of this field, which I'll probably just line off with fence and put cows over here or something. But really don't know what I want to do uh, at the moment. To be honest, this is as casual as it gets. We're just going to play and see where it goes. But I do know that I would like to get um, a few greenhouses so that we can get all that started i think that will make us some money also the grass will make us money but of course it's already august when they started us so we're not really going to get too many more cuttings in at the moment but uh, we're going to have to wait until next year but i do want to at least get a cow pen or at least get some animals and maybe some sheep for how much grass we're mowing but that would seem like too close to the other series i did so i would like to maybe um Throw, throw in some cows, possibly. But we're going to have to work towards that because cows require food, require a lot of other things that we do not have. And $48,000, I don't think, don't really think $48,000 is going to cut it. 
All right, now I've got the windrower out. Everything is mowed and the windrower is small. I'm not gonna lie, but so is the tractor because I keep saying we don't have a lot of money. We really don't. And I can't wait to get some contract work down. Hopefully they give us some money, but we are just leasing this windrower. Obviously we're not buying anything. We're already down to $47,000, which is gonna hurt, but I'm hoping that it's really nice this silage take because there's a lot of grass that we just mowed and we're really need of um, a lot of equipment. So I'm hoping that this silage pays off, but let's continue wind rowing and then we will move on to the next step, which is going to be leasing a forage wagon so we can grab all of this grass and put it into the bunker so that we can ferment it. And then hopefully we can get paid. All right, now I've said earlier about the save game problem that we could potentially be having with all the bugs and things like that. That's going to affect a little bit of the role play. I'm still going to release the role play. It's just going to be a little bit more reserved than I want it to right now, which it's gonna be anyway, right? Because in order to make the role play, I need a couple different mods that have not come out yet. And believe me, I've been checking every hour on the hour over at King Mods and things of that nature so that I can hopefully download this easy dev tool and a couple other camera problems or camera mods I should say that eliminate some problems of mine um, especially when we're talking about filming you know cinematic type feel which is what the role plays that I do kind of are so it's going to take a couple more mods to be released and I'm not talking about the new tractor or the new Baylor. I'm talking about different things that help the presentation of this game. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more reserved. I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to work around every way that I can in order to present it the best way that I can. But the one thing I do like about this uh, new version of the game is the third person. I think they did a great job with that, especially for somebody that needs to film stuff like that. I'm really excited to use third person and in the role play finally i think you're gonna see me not all the time but i will use it um you know sparingly when i when i feel that it needs to be used okay now on to the next step which is the forage wagon we have got our bunker silo already down and we are on the opposite end of where the bunker silo is so let me turn around here when i get all of this grass I hate this border, this line right here. I guess there's another road right there that kind of makes it a little bit better, but and I also do not love square fields. And that's the thing. I do like that Giants made the fields more real, right? They're not completely square, 90 degrees on each side. They have a little bit more feel to them, a little bit more liveliness. That's what you would see in a real farming atmosphere is that and not perfectly square. So... Yeah, I do like that addition as well. But of course, what do I do? I pick the square field. But either way, we are going to pick all of this up. Hopefully, we will be able to fill most of this silage bunker up. And then we will go right to the contract work because that's when we need the money. And at $18,000 already, remember, we bought that silo bunker and we've leased this forage wagon. Like I said, $40,000, what we originally were at. That's not going to go very far. We started with half a million dollars. Let's just say that. Now, the field costs a lot, and the field's paid for, and everything is paid for. It's not like we're leasing things eh, overnight or anything. We're leasing things when we need them. We're going to lease them because we can't afford to buy them. And hopefully one day we'll be able to buy them. But we need some barns. We need some infrastructure on this, on this farm. We're really just... We're not really a farm. We're... A huge field that has just been mowed. Now, fun fact, this is the first European map that I've ever done on this channel. And yeah, how is that possible? We played all of Farm Sim 22. Well, for a while I was releasing role plays and they were in American maps. And I just, I don't know why. I don't know why. But this is the first video for Farm Sim 25 on this channel. And it is a European map. So... I'm happy to be here. Now we're going to clean all of this up. We've got a couple more rows to clean up. And then, like I said, we're going to get to the contract. When I do the contract in this series, I'd like for them mostly to be time lapses. So that is where I am going to end talking. I'm going to end this with the time lapse of the contract work. It's a $15,000 job and we have got to weed out 
a huge field down here on the southern part of this map. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. The game is awesome. I appreciate all you guys for watching and hanging out. Enjoy the time lapse and I will be back in the next one.